the green light is a go. This is killing my head. Houses are going to be built on cold and battlefield. What the? Hey guys, it's Danger Debs. I bet you figured out my head is killing me right now. I've just watched a video by Sean, who's a Scottish YouTuber, and he's told me the worst fact of all. Houses are going to be built on Conlodden Battlefield. That is a terrible idea! Seriously, someone should stop this, stop this to development. This is going to be houses built on Conlodden Battlefield. Conlodden Battlefield is where Jacobites and the government forced the Red Coats fought in 1746 on a field in Culloden. And now that field's gonna be taken over by houses? 16 houses? Why? I think it's a stupid idea. I don't know why people put this forward. I don't know who put this forward. I don't care, because this should not happen. Thanks a lot, Scottish, Scottish government, for putting this forward into a green light so houses can be built on Culloden Battlefield. It's a terrible idea, seriously? I've been to Culloden Battlefield and sometimes you can hear voices of the battle actually going on and you see, a, you see a lot of things happening. You see a stone that was built to remember the Scottish battle, what happened on the Scottish Battlefield. You also see a stone home where one of the people live. You go to a museum and it tells you all about Culloden Battlefield. Field. It's so cool. And half of that battlefield is going to be taken away by 16 houses or maybe more by the time it's in 2020. This is a terrible fact. This is a terrible thing that's happening to Culloden Battlefield near my hometown near this. This is a terrible I, <sighs> I would have been told earlier on by the news or some other YouTube video. And this fact is really killing my brain. I've been on Culloden Battlefield. I was on Culloden Battlefield when I was 10 years old in P5 in my class and we were in the old Jacobite Museum, the old Jacobite Museum in 2005. It was just really a spiral of the museum and a little cinema was in it and you went outside into the Culloden Battlefield, a stone house and then, got, then I got demolished with a new one. The second time I went to Culloden Battlefield was with my class in S1 or S2 in high school. I was 14 or 15, I don't know. They made a new thing for the Clothing Battlefield, a museum bit, very digital. There was a ca big cafe, they made a bigger shop, everything to mark the history of what happened on the Clothing Battlefield. What happened on Clothing Battlefield is that a long time ago, these two groups went against each other the Jacobites and the government army. The government army were the Red Coats, they supported Prince William. The Jacobites supported Charles Edward Stuart, and within an hour, the Jacobites lost. They all died because half of their army was not big, just like the Red Coats. They supported Prince William, and they all won in their last battle that happened on Culloden Battlefield back a long, long time ago. I don't remember who won because I always remember like just me coloring in a lot of the Jacobites. These Jacobite people looked like. Vikings, wearing little kilts, had shields, bad swords, and I think the red coats won. They were wearing like really long coats, hats, sword. They had a lot more weapons, and they won it. I think. Yeah, I think the red coats won. I don't know what happened after the war, but it was a big war that happened in Culloden near Inverness. And I don't care that my screen is going blurry right now. This is an important topic because houses. Are we gonna get built over that field? That field that's got a lot of history on it. Council in the Inverness, why have you put permission for this to go forward? Seriously, this should not happen. I'm in Paisley right now. In, in my hometown, houses are gonna be built on Culloden Battlefield. This should not happen. It's gonna be something that's gonna be taken out in Inverness. It's really gonna be really annoying for me, like, in 2020, half of Colton Battlefield will be gone and history in Inverness will be wiped out because houses were built on that field. 
All that will be left is the museum, not a field that you can go on with the tour guide. There'd just be a stone house in a museum that's very cool and digital. <sighs> it tells you everything about the battle. But half of them houses will be built on the field. I think it's stupid. I think it's really stupid. Whoever has thought of this project and to put it on the Clodden battlefield, put it somewhere else because this is why we get a lot of tourists because it's Clodden battlefield. This is why we get a lot of tourists in Inverness because of Clodden battlefield, Loch Ness, uh, which is next to George Beach, Urquhart Castle. Um, so why are you taking Clodden battlefield away, away from us? This is stupid. This is really clearing my mind. Colin Battlefield is going to be gone. Half of it's going to be gone. I don't want this to happen. Seriously. This is a terrible thing that's happening. Sorry, it's really killing my brain. Hey, guess what? I live in a house that was built on Colin Battlefield. And I live under dead bodies that were people who fought in the battle. I did not want to hear that from a kid or anybody who lives in these houses that are going to be put on Claude and Battlefield. That just sounds really disgusting sentence that I just put in my head. 2020 was not good right now for Claude and Battlefield. Seriously. I wouldn't like to live on a battlefield my whole entire life. Yes, I'd like to walk around it and cycle around it or go back from my classmates if I was in school onto the battlefield. But no, half of it will be taken over by houses. I don't care that you want to say hi to me right now on my phone. This is important in fact. Houses are going to be built on Claude and Battlefield. And it's a terrible idea. If you agree with me, comment below, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. So we can stop this. Or why not join Sean's Facebook group called Scotland the Great on Facebook. So we can have a debate about this and debate about any other stuff in Scotland or just think how wonderful Scotland is. The council said a final decision may not be made until May. That's how long we got. May. The Scottish government now need to take ownership of this problem rather than dismissing it as a local issue and start listening to the voices others than those of developers. Yeah, listen to us guys. Listen to the local people than the people who want to build houses. I'm going to go now and research a lot more what's happening to Claude and Battlefield because I feel like I just want to make a documentary out of this. Remember all the good thoughts that were happened around the Claude and Battlefield from local people. Anyway, also subscribe to me, Danger Devs. And you know what? Go and check out Sean because he's killed my brain with this fact. And it's actually going to happen. Sean, thank you for telling me about this because this shouldn't happen. And I'm glad you agree with the count. Not with the council, you agree with me, this shouldn't happen to Claude and Batfield. Houses getting built on Claude and Batfield. Shouldn't happen!